Hello, Two Brain Universe. I am Jay Cohen, owner of Locomotion Fitness in Charleston, South Carolina, longtime Two Brain business client. I am here to talk to you about how to live a rich life as a gym owner. And today we're going to talk about the Kingmaker's equation. Take a look at effective hourly weight rate and how to move up the value chain to make sure that your business continues to grow and you're doing your job as the entrepreneur, as the visionary to give jobs and meaningful work uh, and good coaches a chance to do what they love. So the Kingmaker's equation, dollars that you make profit, if you will, over time spent in or on your business. So there is no right answer here. Uh, for some people, it's going to be maximizing their effective hourly rate, right? Just working as little in the business as they possibly can, getting as much return from it as is humanly possible so that they can take their focus and put it in another business or spending time with their family or whatever it is that they want to do. Flip side of that coin, maybe you have the desire to be an owner operator. You love to coach. You want to coach five, six hours a day. Um, and maybe your dollars per hour won't be quite as high, but you're living your perfect day. And that's fine too. Ultimately, you need to know what your goals are so that we can make sure that our ladder is on the right wall, as Ben Bergeron likes to say, right? Are we climbing and ending up in a place when we're at the top where we can look down and say, heck yeah, I'm stoked that I'm here or, oh no, I'm at the top of the wrong wall. So I like to, to sort of frame this in CrossFit terms as power output, right? So when we are scaling workouts for members, we know that we are trying to maximize power output. And that doesn't necessarily mean using more weight because it might make them move a whole lot more slower. The same thing goes here, right? We might not want to spend a lot more time in our business because our dollars per hour are going to go down substantially. So don't think of things in, in gross terms, right? It's not all about top line. It's not all about how much money your business is making. Flip side of that coin, it's not all about time, right? It's not all about as little time or as much time as possible, circling back to what you want. And that's what the Kingmaker, Kingmaker equation tells us is how much is our time worth? Another way or another way to think about this is effective hourly rate. So you take your net owner benefit and that is any profit distributions that you're taking, your monthly salary that you pay yourself. If your gym pays your cell phone bill, a car payment, all of that stuff is net owner benefit. We add all those things together, put that in the top line and in the bottom line, put how many hours you work. That is your effective hourly rate. So, that number tells us what should we be paying other people to do in our business. So my effective hourly rate is right around $150, $200 an hour, depending on the month and what we're working on. So for me, anything that I can pay somebody to do for me, that is a role that is less than $150 an hour, it's a no brainer for me to pay them to do that because that allows me to work on the higher value stuff, the things that are really going to drive revenue and grow my business, or maybe not even drive revenue. Maybe I'm fixing a retention problem. It doesn't matter. That all is gonna translate into dollars back into the business. And ultimately, if we have a healthy, profitable business into my pocket. Knowing that effective hourly rate number is super important. So make sure if you have no clue how much you're working in your business, use an app to track your time. I like Toggle, it's T-O-G-G-L. Um, it's a great piece of software. It allows you to track by sort of project, by task that you're working on. And after a couple of weeks, you can run some reports and get some really good data on where you're spending your time. Um, that then, that list allows you to look and say, okay, this is something that I can pay somebody else to do because it is under my effective hourly rate. And that is how you continue to level up your business and you continue to allow opportunities for your staff. 
So if something that you're doing is generating $80 an hour, but you could make 150, that's still a very valuable role, right? That's a valuable task to you and your business. So now we can have one of your staff members step up into that role. They can work that thing. You can move on to the bigger, whatever the next step up is. And now you're able to make that $80 an hour and another, whatever your effective hourly rate is on top of that. And that compounds and compounds and compounds over time until you look back and you just are, are sort of amazed what you've been able to get done as you put this team together, each of which is working on higher value tasks and higher value tasks. So I invite you this week, figure out your effective hourly rate, figure out your kingmakers equation for your business. Decide on what roles you can get off your plate so that you can do your job as the business owner to figure out how to drive more opportunity for everyone. And again, you can do this in the time that you're not coaching. So if your ideal role is five hours of coaching a day, cool, that's fine. Do your, do your coaching, maximize that to the best of your ability, maybe get some small groups together. Um, you know, as well as I do, you can, you can generate a good chunk of change in an hour of training if you've got the right people paying for a great service. Um, but then I also encourage you in the other hours that you have to work in your day to create some opportunities for some other people. I believe, Two Brain believes, the more people you help, the more opportunity you are going to have, the more is going to come back to you. And so I encourage you to maximize that effective hourly rate to give others the, the same opportunity that you had. All right, guys, uh, I hope that was useful. Don't forget, hit that notifications bell, subscribe to the channel. In the comments, any questions that you have about Kingmaker's equation or effective hourly rate or offloading roles and tasks, just drop them there. Um, we'll check it out. We'll see you guys soon.